Hey everyone, it's Summer from HammondsNest.com. I'm so glad you're here. Let me show you how to make some cute metal flowers using this disposable cookie sheet from Dollar Tree. Now, if you've been following along for me a while, you've already seen me do this once. I did feature one of these 3D flowers on an Easter project. Y'all asked for a little bit closer look at my process. And there's all this is to it, right? It's not that much. I kind of just give myself some margins to work with because I like to have the three layers. And then I just kind of freehand it. So these are a little bit chunkier petals. I'm gonna show you a thinner petal design in just a minute. But all you do is use a permanent marker, sketch, don't overthink it, cut it all out, set that to the side, and I'm gonna draw my next flower. And I'm actually not on camera. I'm gonna make another set of this one. And then that little bitty house shape that you might've caught a glimpse of at the very beginning, I am going to use that to build a cute little spring scene featuring these flowers. They're gonna be the star of the show. So here's my design featuring a little bit thinner petal and that's it. So I'm, I'm keeping my little margins there with my ruler, freehanding it and cutting it out with scissors. Simple as that. Now I have never cut myself on this stuff though. Some people do warn that it could be sharp, but I just have never run into issues, but do be careful if you give this one a try. Now I've got some white chalk paint. I'm using Dixie Belle's fluff color, but you could use any white chalk paint you want. I'm just giving them a really imperfect coat because I want them to look kind of rustic and distressed. And we're gonna set those to the side for time's sake. I've already got all of them painted. I'll bring them back out in a minute, but we're about to start building our scene. So I have this cute little wooden house uh, that my husband built. It's left over for some other projects, but there's some things out there you might could grab that are similar. I have this cute little white picket fence embellishment from Hobby Lobby and I have some green moss. So that's gonna be my first couple steps. And the little wooden house was unfinished, but it's painted in like a vintage duck egg blue and the roof and the bottom are stained. So anyway, so I hot glued down some green moss and I hot glued around after I measured and cut with wire cutters, my little white picket fence. And now it's time to start building our cute little flowers. So I chose to go with a really natural look. I have some outdoor rope that kind of has a plastic feel to it, but it looks very natural. So all I'm doing is I am measuring how long I want the stem. So my biggest flower, the one that I did with the chunkier petals, I'm using that kind of as my focus flower and it's gonna be the tallest one. So I glued down my rope for my stem and I'm layering my flower. Now here's the part that you need to know. Glue right in the center only. Don't glue your petals down because you want the 3D effect. You wanna be able to bend them up. And then I'm gonna move on to the other style of flower that had the skinnier petal, which I told y'all I cut and painted two sets of those. And we're gonna kind of nestle those on the side of our center flower at different heights. I think that makes it look really pretty, a really nice little scene there. So just getting those glued down right in the center. I'm using that little silicone thing, pushing down because that metal does get really hot. And like I said, I'm gonna use that same rope to make little leaves, natural leaves. We'll come back, we have some other embellishments to add. But I'm just gonna get kind of those leaves set in place, get them glued down nicely. And we're not done yet. We have just a few more embellishments left, like I said. I'm trying to think of how much is left to show you. Definitely, we're gonna put something in the center. We're gonna put something back over the leaves. And then we're gonna put one little thing hanging on our fence. Just wait and see, you'll love it. Okay, almost done getting those little leaves glued down there. And next, it'll be time to pull out an acrylic paint. It's gonna be Burnt Umber by Folk Art, okay? So, and I'm gonna make, you may have seen me do this before, but I love making my own color washes using acrylic paint or chalk paint. And I just add a little bit of water, mix it around, and it kind of creates this uh, stain. So, I am gonna take these cute little buttons. Yes, little wooden buttons. I have this little jar of buttons I keep on hand, and I just find so many fun uses for them. I'm just giving them a little once over with my homemade stain and I'm wiping down the excess. And that is gonna be our little feature pop there in the center of these beautiful flowers. Doesn't that give a nice little touch? So getting those glued in place and I'm gonna use that same brush that I used to stain the little buttons. You can see me here, I'm just kind of dusting the petals, giving them a little extra interest. And if there is any excess, I just wipe it off with a little rag and we are good to go. So two more little embellishments, cute little fabric and uh, ribbon scraps, little bow I just put together, kind of using some of the colors. And then a little tinier green fabric scrap 
layering on top of those leaves of the other flowers. Y'all, it's all these cute little details. Lastly, my fresh flower sign that I made from a wooden shim and just glued a little string to the back, wrote on it with markers. Oh my goodness, right? This is the excitement of crafting, y'all. Um, if you hold the same excitement as me, let me know. Let me know if you're gonna try something kind of like this. And if you do, of course, please share it with me. You know, that's my favorite part. I'm glad you hung out with me today and I hope you'll come back soon for more crafty ideas. Bye, y'all.